Mark Bell from Super Training Gym in Sacramento, California, strongest gym in the West. Got Damon doing a squat there, and he missed it. If you rewind that back a little bit and watch that again, you'll see how his hips got away from him. He retakes the weight, keeps his hips under him the whole time a lot better, even from the unrack, and uh, successfully nails the weight. That's his first 500-pound uh, squat, I believe. Here's David Butt Squish going with some pretty big weights right there. I think he's got uh, over 700 on there. How much weight is that, David? 745 on there. Here's G-Buff. Greg's going to be competing at 198 and hoping to uh, get uh, better than 771, which is his best squat. Here we got Ryan Spencer trying to work him into uh, some cheating gear, some multiply stuff. And uh, he had a little bit of a rough time on the day. Uh, that suit's brand new, and uh, anytime you have something that's brand new, it's going to take some time to work into it. The key is you, you got to make sure you don't get discouraged from it. You got to try it out a couple times before you even really know if it's going to work well for you. It seemed like the suit fit him pretty good. Uh, next time he goes, we'll have him roll the uh, roll the legs up before he puts it on. And that way, uh, that material won't be in his way, so he can force his knees out better. See, his knees are coming inward at the bottom. And you see his toes are pointed out quite a bit, which I'm not a huge fan of. I know some guys need to do it just because of the way they're built or because of lack of flexibility in certain spots. But if his foot was a little more forward, that knee would be torquing a little bit less. Not completely straight, but a little bit more straight-ish would be, would be better. Uh, also, just flat out cutting your squats high when you're working in a new suit can sometimes be a good idea just for the day and then working on going lower at some other time. Here, all I was doing is trying to have him feel the pressure. So all I did was lower the weight down on him with the monolith. I was trying to have him keep his chest more upright and uh, not let his knees come so far forward. His knees were coming very forward and he actually lost a couple of weights in, in, the, uh, in the workout. But he still went up about 30 pounds heavier than, uh, than his best. I think he ended up hitting around 630 or 640 for the day. A little, a little high-ish, but not bad for the first workout in the suit. Got me and uh, Tristan Scholl doing some uh, box squats with the cam cambered bar and some bands. There's approximately 250 to 300 pounds of band tension on there. And uh, you're going to see a good example of how important your form can be and your mobility can be. Uh, Treston and I go head to head on this day and he hits his last weight a little bit better than I do or a lot better than I do I should say. And uh, you're gonna see right away, watch my form versus his form. Even uh, in the earlier sets you can kind of put your money on somebody and you can tell who's gonna fail first or who's gonna have the most trouble. Moving the weights pretty fast but uh, I gotta get my hips under me a little bit more and uh, stop kipping forward on my knees. The kipping squat, I've been listening to CrossFit too much, I think. Treston does a great job getting his hips underneath the bar before he ever goes. And he does a great job of flexing his big chubby ass on the way back up. He keeps his butt underneath him. He utilizes the barbell to really stack himself up. It's uh, stacking up on his body and stacking up into the gear. Here's Robot. Robot's getting ready for a meet also. Just as some of the other guys are, they're kind of all taking their opening attempts. Now we got about uh, 4.55 on there or so, or 5.45 on there. We did uh, five sets of doubles, and then we worked work into some uh, heavy singles. Did a pretty good job staying up right there, not too bad. I watched Treston really uh, load that weight into his hips. You can see when he sits on the box, if you pause your uh, your YouTube, you can see that barbell and his hips are in the same exact spot. That's the way you want to try to do that. Everyone's a little different. People are going to try to find spots of tension to, uh, to rely on. And so sometimes people are going to lean forward and try to rely on their back and do some weird shit. But uh, that'll always fail faster than uh, just performing it the right way and staying more upright. The robot, a good upright posture on that one. 
working his way down, working his way up in weight. This is about 625, I believe. I know some of you guys probably want to see a little bit of nipple, but I don't think it ever pops out of there. You see how I got rounded over and I uh, was shifting my hips back and uh, descending downward, but, but uh, keeping my chest more over my, um, maybe more in line with my knees rather than keeping my chest back uh, around where my quads are, keeping my chest back to where my hips are even, like Treston does here. Treston just nailed that weight. Really good spot for him. That was a good workout, working out with Treston. He's a great squatter, so anytime we have a chance to work out together, we always help each other out a lot. Here's Roboto going again. We had him work up over 700. He got around 745 for the day. Um, we're probably going to have him open up around 700, maybe high sixes, and make the, and, and progress from there in the contest. I believe this is the last squat of the day. He got him a little high. I called him back up early because he just flat out got stuck down there. That's it from supertraining.tv.